Alright, so I'm going to be testing out the reworked hood versus the CaviQ monthly mystic quest. And I'm going to start off this showcase by showing the exact same fight three times from three different attempts. And I want you all to pay attention here because there, there's stuff that happens here that, that I'm not quite sure why they happen. And I'm not also quite sure if they are supposed to be happening. So very clearly in Hood's abilities, there it's stated that whenever he manages to nullify a buff with his dagger, he also nullifies every other buff that activates at the same time with that stagger. So here I'm going up against a Nihilus, and a Nihilus has this node that every other character on this lane has that makes them go unstoppable on a periodic time. And I'm um, applying the staggers, the, the unstoppable is a buff, you can, you can nullify it, you're able to nullify it, and nullifying it is going to be giving Hood a permanent prowess. So, I'm going into this fight, I'm thinking I'm going to be nullifying the, the, unstop the unstoppables pretty regularly, and I can just, you know, go in there and attack him afterwards, right? But whenever Annihilus has his control rod active, he manages to not only get the unstoppable, even when I do have the the staggers on him, but he also manages to get like three other stacks of fury at the same exact time. When my when my stagger is supposed to go off, when you know all his buffs are supposed to be nullified that are activating at the same time. So I don't know how this is working. I don't know if it's a bug with Hood, if it's a bug with the Nihilus and his timing, if it's a bug with the node, and I'm gonna actually showcase another fight versus the same Annihilus where something even more even more interesting happens. So this whole fight I've been, you know, trying to figure out what's going on. This was one of my first attempts, but I'm gonna move on to my second attempt here. And this Annihilus again on the same exact node. And I'm just gonna start off the fight pretty similar here. I'm just gonna do my phasing. I, I did bring Ghost along. It's, it's pretty weird bringing Ghost along to to help Hood when it comes to synergies, but yeah. Uh, so here again, um, at that point I didn't even have a stagger on Annihilus because Hood staggers are reliant on crits and you know you can't necessarily control them or rely on them. And I'm backed up in the corner a bit, I'm getting out of the corner, there I have the stagger. Uh, I know at this point that whenever my stagger supposedly is going to nullify the unstoppable, it doesn't nullify it when Annihilus has a control rod active, right? Here he doesn't have the control rod active and the unstoppable is about to come off cooldown. And he still gets it. He didn't have the control rod active and he still gets the, the whole the whole shebang. <laughs> I don't get it. It's it's so it's so bizarre. I'm getting wrecked there. It, it was kind of a, a couple of attempts to just get through this. I, I I wanted to showcase like a cleaner fight, and I do end up showcasing a cleaner fight versus this Annihilus and the rest of the path. But I also wanted to uh, maybe bring this particular interaction to y'all's uh, attention because it just it just caught me by surprise, and it was it was bizarre. All right, uh, here's the actual lane, and this is going to be the, the clean, quote-unquote, clean version of the lane. I'm going into the Annihilus fight. I know at this point that my abilities don't work, I guess, and I have to be careful that the Unstoppable is going to happen pretty much regardless of what I do, so that's pretty fun. So whether or not Annihilus has the control rod or he doesn't have the control rod, it just seemed like the, the Unstoppable was going to happen regardless. There, I'm just waiting out the unstoppable. I'm at this point. I'm also like trying to upkeep my my bullets, my hex stacks, uh, even though an Isles is unstoppable. When they are unstoppable, they are also stun immune in this note. So that's pretty fun. Sometimes now this is this is extra fun. Sometimes when they are unstoppable, they also shrug off the stuns. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> that makes it a, a ton of fun to just have that guesswork all the time and uh, having to figure out you know when you can attack them and when you can't. Hood does hit pretty hard with the whole stacks of prowess here. My hood is a rank 4 5 star. I don't I think the the sig is around 100. And I'm running a team of uh, Nick Fury, Deadpool, Ghost, 
who are all there to help Hood in one way or another, whether it's from you know regening or it's from the uh, the invisibility at the start. And I'm also bringing along Human Torch for the final boss. I'm not going to show the final boss. Hood could have maybe theoretically taken the final boss, but it would have been such a long fight, and I'm just not going to be excited for that. So yeah, it's it's going to be just the lane. The rest of the fights are going to be pretty straightforward, uh, for the most part. And I do I do mess up at some point, I think, on the Magneto fight. But yeah, aside from that, they are going to be pretty straightforward. I do go down on my bullets, but then go back up as soon as I get a fight where I can nullify buffs. Uh, still, his bullet system seems interesting to me. His, his invisibility and his sustainability seems interesting to me. His regen did get fixed, aka nerfed. Uh, because it was actually activating on stagger reapplication, not just stagger expiry or staggers uh, expiring on buff removal. So that did get changed, and his region is worse now. His re his you know sustainability is not it's not the worst. It's not the best, especially when it comes to buff heavy fights. He's decent when it comes to sustainability, but he's the same as he was before. So it's not it's not necessarily too big of a, uh, an achievement to be the same as you were before, right? And, um, and in s a lot of these fights, man, I would just rather have uh, the Fate Seal and not have to worry about the Unstoppable rather than, you know, just be constantly worried that, uh, that you know, maybe it's not going to work. Maybe, maybe Annihilus is going to just decide he doesn't want to be uh, staggered. Maybe... Uh, you know, in this case, Silver Surfer, a couple of times, he caught me with the with the un un unblockable buff on the SB2. I'm like, how did that happen? I'm supposed to be nullifying these buffs. Anyways, uh, I I don't know how to, how to feel about Hood. This lane was a bit of a struggle. It could be because of, you know, my lack of experience with Hood. It could be because of just Hood's kit itself. Or it could be maybe a bug with the lane. I don't know. Especially the Denials fight was, was pretty trippy to me. Anyways, I'm gonna let y'all listen to some music and finish off this lane. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye! Thank you. 